The APA Style Guide 6th edition gives us guidelines for how to format figures and tables. Specifically, we're going to talk about how tables and figures are to be labeled and titled. Tables are a visual display for data. They can show lots of data in a little space. The lines on the table are called rules. At a minimum, you need one rule across the width of the top of the table, one rule across the width of the bottom of the table, and typically one rule across the width of the first row of the table. There are never any vertical lines in APA-style tables. As with all text in an APA-style document, the font is black, no colors in APA-style, and you should use black lines for your rules. So, here are the rules for rules. At the least, you need a top and a bottom, although adding a third is always nice. Stay horizontal, never vertical, and black lines matter. All graphs, charts, histograms, drawings, sketches of an apparatus, pictures, bar napkin scrawls, any other visual depictions are called figures. Figures do not include tables. Both tables and figures are consecutively numbered, but tables and figures are numbered independently. So, for instance, you may have table 1, table 2, figure 1, table 3, figure 2, etc. When labeling tables in APA style, the label for the table goes above the table. Start with capital table, then the table number. There is no period following the table number. Now create a new line. The title of the table is in title case. All words are capitalized except unimportant words such as a, an, and the. Put the title of the table in italics. The title is left justified, meaning that it is hard against the left margin, not centered or right justified, and it does not end with a period. When labeling figures in APA style, the label for the figure goes below the figure. Start with a capital figure and then the figure number followed by a period. The figure, number, and period are in italics. Leave one space and then on the same line, continue by typing the title of the figure in sentence case. Only the first word and any proper nouns are capitalized. As with tables, the title of the figure is left justified and does not end with a period. Compare the figure and the table here and notice the differences in the formatting between them. If you plan to use a figure from SPSS in a thesis, dissertation, or publication, there are some additional tricks that you should know about formatting figures. As a rule, SPSS output is never in APA style. It always requires some degree of formatting. For graphs especially, the SPSS defaults must be changed to conform to APA. Let's create a simple bar chart for gender. Begin by going to Graphs, Chart Builder. In the gallery, bar is selected, so drag Simple Bar up into the canvas. We can put gender in the x-axis drop zone. And for now, just click OK. Here's what we find. It is a bar chart, but we get the count of males and females. I think we can do better. Let's do a percentage instead. So again, go to Graphs, Chart Builder, and now in Element Properties, change statistic to percentage. Apply and OK. Better. Still not APA style, but we do have the percentages, so let's change a few things to get this looking as it should. Number one, we're going to change the background color. 
All of these edits can be done by, first of all, double-clicking anywhere on that chart. It will open the chart editor. Let's begin by changing that background. When I click on the gray background under properties, I see fill and border. I want the background to be white, but I'm actually going to choose the no fill option and click apply. Good, now that's gone. For the border, which is now black, I click on border, I click on no border and apply. Let's go back to our bar chart. This is looking better. It has removed the box around the rest of the chart. Now let's change the color of those bars. Right now they're this kind of mustardy color. That needs to be some level of gray. I've clicked on the bars themselves. I can see in fill and border, the preview gives me the default color. Let's change that to a medium gray. Click apply. Yes, now we're getting better. One last thing. Although having gender at the bottom of the chart makes sense, putting the word percent over here on the edge really doesn't make sense. Let's remove that. Click on percent. Sometimes it takes more than one click. You can then delete the word percent, click off. Now that has been removed. I could do the same thing with gender. To edit it, I could even change the word gender to something else if that would be appropriate. Here, gender is just fine. Let's close the chart editor. And what we see is that our chart has now been changed to something that is much more in keeping with APA style. To get this out of SPSS and into Microsoft Word, click on Export. Under Output, we'll change this to Bar Chart Output, saving it to the desktop. Click OK. And on the desktop, we will have the output that we just created. We can double click on this file to open it, scroll down, and we'll find the original graph and our new graph. This can be clicked on, copied, pasted, moved to some other formatting. And those are some hints and tips for APA style for figures and tables.